Welcome back. Kentucky comes into this game riding a 14 game win streak. North Carolina trying to be the first to ever go to a 20th Final Four. And here are the starters. Four underclassmen for Kentucky with Willis the Lone Senior. Five upperclassmen for the Tar Heels. And a pair of Hall of Fame coaches on the benches, each having already been inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Roy Williams with over 800 career wins total. And Coach Calipari trying to take Kentucky for the fifth time under his stewardship to the Final Four. And here we go, getting started with the Tar Heels. Jim Nance, Grand Hill, a little bit of it by Kentucky. As Jackson gets off the quick shot, and Adebayo able to get a quick rebound on him. Short possession for the Heels. Outside Briscoe and Fox, who had the hot hand the other night, had 39 in the win against UCLA. Hey, Jim, that's what you're going to see. Kentucky's going to push early if there's nothing there. They're going to milk that clock. And on this side of the floor, this is where Kentucky has improved since their last Ooh. matchup. Oh, and they beat him inside. Meeks finds Hicks. Although not on that play. <laughs> a little double and a nice dive. Good acknowledgement. And coach, interestingly enough here, Barry starting off on Briscoe. Not guarding Fox early on. They have Theo Pinson, a, a, a taller, bigger player, guarding De'Aaron Fox. That length helps out. They put Barry on Briscoe. And they go down low. Adebayo, little hook shot too strong. And Meeks pulls it away for North Carolina. It's good to test because Meeks got foul trouble in their initial game. Jackson lost it on the way up and a reach in on Monk. I'll tell you right here, just a great read. Meeks gets double teamed, and Hicks dives to the basket. So unselfish, one of the best passing teams, North Carolina. Meeks finding hits. Now you acknowledge that. Years ago, you didn't see it. You miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> well, Jackson, Bill, you talked about this glorious season he's had in his junior year. First team All-America, recognized by already a number who have released their first five. and. He's on virtually every one of them. He had 24 in the victory against Butler. That's the 18th game this year where he scored at least 20 in a game. That's the most since uh, Tyler Hansbro did that for North Carolina. And he was in the act of shooting three. So here comes another one. What impresses me is his speed, too. He can really get down the floor. You'll see him at the end of fast breaks. Quick he attack. He down the floor. It's Briscoe. And he is fouled on the shot by Barry. Barry, if you missed it on Friday, it was a big question mark with his ability to stay on the floor because of an ankle that he rolled in the first round game the week prior against Texas Southern. Had been in a walking boot all week leading up to Memphis, but he had a spectacular game, put up 26 points. But they're not going to put him for defensive purposes up against the likes of Monk nor Fox. Well, Roy was telling us, uh, all of us, that he's going to switch people. Uh, give them a different looks, maybe the size that they start out with. And eventually, Burry might have them, but with the push, he could end up with them on different trips. Well, Briscoe misses them both, so heels. Beat it down low again, quick double team, and Jackson lost the handle. And it belongs to Kentucky. And early on, Kentucky doubling the post every time on the catch, making sure that North Carolina's bigs can't get going, and Hicks well, Obviously break. off him. Great effort, though, by the big fella. Because with that double, you're going to open up some shooters. It could be dangerous. There's that little horn set they like to use. Pin downs. Briscoe. Pretty dish. Good job getting that one. Out of bio, no foul. A lot of contact that appeared underneath. Barry with the floater, and it banks home. And that's where he is so good. Constantly probing and transition. A little floater put the hook shot. First six to Carolina as Fox takes it to the hole rapidly as only he can. you got to jump on that left hand. I know he can go right, but you can't let him. He is electrifying going to the 10. His 39 against UCLA, the most in the history of the tournament by any freshman. I keep going inside, cause the double, and look for the, that, not a good kick. And Briscoe is fouled after making the theft. And 
right now the guards have just been attacking, getting to the rim. A nice little floater by Joel Berry. And on the other end, Fox, as you said, so good with that left hand. You know he's going left, and he still gets there, Mr. Fox. This is what's been effective, that high ball screen dive. The foul is on Penson at the other end. Up on Willis, can really stroke it deep. And Fox, that's a three. He's and you can live with that. If he's making contested three-point shots, it's going to be a long night for North Carolina. That's his first three of the tournament. Pinkson on the inside and one. A nice footwork. This kid's a valuable addition. Uh, missing games because of injury. Terrific passer. Uh, the other end we mentioned is length defensively, but a nice recapture here and good extension. Willis with a little small change, but great footwork. Anticipating. Benson was injured at that time when they met back in December. He missed the first 16 games of the season with a broken foot. Humphreys has come into the lineup for the Wildcats. So they did not have Pinson that day, and he's a guy that brings up leadership, great passing, a lot of flair to this team. Uh, he typifies their philosophy, you know, share it. If you got a good shot, see if you can get a better one. Excellent at finding people, and this is where he's going to have to work hard. Nice slide. And Hicks, who can be foul prone, picks up an early call here. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming devices with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Monk to Briscoe to the paint. Uh, number two, is that? Uh, that's a second one on Penson before the shot. And Kentucky very smart with their attack, putting the ball on the floor, initiating contact. Briscoe, one of the best in the country of driving, so strong, and Penson got caught reaching. Now, too, he has to sit down. Well, they, big, sorry, Jim. They bring in Britt for him. The big, the big thing is over helping against Kentucky. Uh, they make you pay. Don't help unless you're needed. Fox. Wiggles and off the rim. Oh, they take good. the basket away. Oh, I thought it had come off the rim. Out of bio, they say no basket. And you're right, Jim. Uh, great patience at the rim. I think that was off. You think a little bit of it was over the cone? How about out of bio, just staying up in the air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what impressed you most. There's Barry. To Brett again, who just came in. Down low and off Briscoe. What do you see here, guys? Straight to the roof is what the call. If any piece of it is over the rim, it is the right call. Ooh. Tell you what. You might be right there. Yeah, just a, a little bit over. Just a fraction. Yeah, if any. Uh, Jackson, if that's the matchup, he can elevate and get the jumper over Fox if he so desires. Nice dish. To Meeks. Woo. That's Barry making the play. Got to keep him out of the lane, much like Fox. There's Briscoe. Back out with it. Fox bypasses the two, goes to Humphreys. Humphreys can make that little 10-footer. Want him on the glass, though. Here he is, shooting and hitting. Yeah, he can make it. Kentucky has never lost this season when he has scored. When Humphreys has scored, they're undefeated. His first points of the NCAA tournament. Uh, Briscoe's now a switch bunk on Jackson. Nice pass. Better oh, that. Briscoe, though, is feisty on defense, isn't he? Sure is. Both clubs playing a little D. Going to be North Carolina ball out of the break. Let's bring in Tracy with the Powerade sideline report. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. This North Carolina team was four seconds away from winning it all, and they want back in it. Shortly after that loss, they renamed a group text chat redemption. They said that just gave them motivation all season long to work harder. The other thing they said is they want to get back to the Final Four, not only to avenge the loss, but because they said that was the most fun they had playing basketball ever. They are hoping their redemption tour continues today, Jim. Okay, so far the Tar Heels, all five starters have already scored. I've heard him say a few times that we were four seconds away from winning the national championship. The game was actually tied. Mm -hmm. It's not like the shot was going to win or lose as Barry fires the three. Uh, what impressed me is how hard these kids worked in the offseason. Listen to Roy. Yep. They get ready. For the Jenkins shot. Tough shot. As oh. they bring Meeks 
Down low, another rebound for Kennedy. 6'10 senior playing in his 15th NCAA tournament game. A great respect getting back in balance. Go inside, read the trap, and maybe relocate the power forward, Grant, huh? Barry Cradles lost it on the way up. They say it was touched by the Wildcats. And that's where Barry is so effective, turning that corner, getting to the paint. You got to form a wall when he penetrates to the basket. It looks like, though, he's yes, grimacing a little bit. Look his ankle, that. and he's, he might have landed on somebody's foot or. This poor kid's been through it, though. He, he, he is two, three. Oh, he, oh, he rolled, rolled it at that left yeah. ankle. The yeah. left time, that time. He's going out, too. This poor yeah. kid has been through so much. The heart and soul of this Tar Heel ball club. The other night, he slipped on a wet spot at the other end, and he said to us yesterday how frightened he was when he fell to the floor, but he was able to recover and stay in the game. So Seventh Woods is in for him. He's a freshman out of Columbia, South Carolina. And he has to play solid. Pretty good driving. Jackson short with a baseline jumper. And I like that matchup. Jackson on Monk. Some size to negate that jumper a little bit. Yes, indeed. There is an awareness from Monk. They remember his performance this past December. Look Hawkins. at this kiss. Hit by Woods. Coming across. Actually going to call it, though. Yeah, they're going to call it on Woods. Oh, what a valuable contributor this kid is. We know he can guard, but Hawkins has been so good on the offensive end, spotting up for shots or getting in the lane there. And so good in the first half when he's come into these tournament games. Watch Masters live on CBSSports.com. Exclusive video, Amen Corner, 15 and 16 featured groups. Highlights, analysis, watch live, CBSSports.com, Masters.com. So one more coming up for Dominique Hawkins, a senior from right there in the Lexington area, led Madison Central High School to the state title on the Rupp Arena floor, and he's been a great contributor so far in the postseason, including ma making the All-SEC tournament team. And, and Barry's going to the locker room, too, as they find the big fella, Bradley, who's really a great Young freshman, so promising the things he can do, particularly in the offensive rebounding area. So, Barry walking around and heading through the corridor now and toward the North Carolina locker room. He loves that pull up jumper here. Look at the footwork. Jackson is amazing, this kid. Here's Hawkins driving. And before the shot, they say it's another one on Woods. So now you've got two on Woods. You've got two on Penson, and they're going to bring in Stillman White, who actually started two regional games back in 2012 against Ohio and Kansas. Remember when Kendall Marshall was injured uh, the first weekend of the tournament that year? And they made it all the way to the lead eight before Kansas, the eventual champion. And look who's got to play, Jim. <laughs> he got help from the big guy inside. There's Jackson, three. And it's Monk pulling it away. And Monk's will, he will attack in this situation and transition. <laughs> His first two. And again, he put up 47 against North Carolina the first time. He can make that. May. They're playing great. Three. Coming off his first career double-double. And how about this pace right now? Guys are getting up and down the court, competing. I think it favors Carolina, to be honest with you, at foot speed. But how about Stillman White? He must feel Roy Williams doesn't like him. <laughs> Comes in the game, he's got to play Monk. Oh, they put him on Hawkins now. Oh, they switched him they back. They switched him back. <laughs> I think you'll wonder, as you suggested the other day, at this Fox delivery deep. Out of bio, and... He thought there was contact. He looked around. Nothing called again. They got contact. A they got a spot against Kentucky's box. Uh, Stillman White is one of those kids. He calms things down. He can hit a pull-up jumper. Uh, but right here is still moving. Fox thinking he can dupe. This kid is a tough kid, though. Plays with a lot of confidence. Pinson is going to inbound it, and he returns to action with two fouls. Well, they don't have a lot of choices, as you alluded to, in the backcourt. Well, right now, North Carolina, I think you have to maybe get the ball inside. Bradley, talented young player, 
Gets some touches in the post. And, and uh, May can post up too. He saw him make the deep one. Pretty good post up guy. Over the head, way over the head of White. And let's go to Tracy. Before they took Joel Berry to the locker room, the athletic trainer was looking at that left ankle. Remember, it was the right ankle that he injured earlier in this tournament. So he is now back in the locker room, and I was told I will get information as soon as they can get it to me, Jim. Okay, Tracy, here's Fox. And once again, going under, you, 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 you're, you mentioned, test him, see if he can drill it. Bradley's got to become more alert. And it's a second on Fox. Ooh. Wow, they're calling it tight here. Fox, so valuable on both ends of the floor for Kentucky. Just after the Carolina guards got an early foul trouble, now you've got the sharpshooter going to the bench with two. Monk will take his place. And I think Fox just felt he could get up into him a little bit. A little experience in white. And right now, North Carolina's already gone 10 players deep, getting into that bench because of foul trouble and the injury to Joel Berry. There's Fred, pretty. Nice move, but the shot's not there. Monk. Cuts right hard, goes back outside. Willis. Got made to compete, and he hit. Chased him off that three. Nice little side saddle maneuver. He can really drill that open jumper. Ooh. A little out of sync now with this lineup. White to Pinson. Oh, Got to protect that ball. Briscoe, a heck of a defender. Still the go, oh, now this kid plays with confidence. Hey, if you go against Joel Berry every day in practice. You're great, a great point. I think he played well against Davidson early in the year. Get six points. They got him on Hawkins now. Willis out of bio and Barry is running back you'll see him coming under the baseline there you go so he jogs back to the bench as we reach another break seven different players have scored for North Carolina a five show me the bracket that has this two first timers heading to Phoenix Gonzaga and South Carolina and Oregon is heading to the final four. It says in the second time in school history, that's, technically that's not true, because in 1939 there were only eight teams in the tournament, and only two went to the finals in Evanston, Illinois. You, you did had a good East. I was there, right? You did a good job. <laughs> you were excellent. First time I heard John Air. <laughs> Out of bio at the line. The Palestra hosted the East, and Treasure Island, a man-made island that connects the Oakland-San Francisco Bay Bridge, hosted the West. As you see, Barry has checked back in. How about Gonzaga, Mark Few, consistent excellence through the years. Finally got that yeah. monkey off his back. <laughs> Unbelievable. Easy. <laughs> he didn't like that. Yeah, no. well, let's see how Burry maneuvers here. Kentucky. Damage, damage right ankle and hurt the left. Yep, and Kentucky does not have Monk nor Fox on the floor right now. Well, he appears to be moving well. This is where he's at his best. Look at him weave through traffic. <laughs> Wow. There's your answer. <laughs> this kid is tough. He is. Oh, he exhibits toughness. The Mulder on the floor now. He will be the shooter. He can really drill it along with Willis. Hawkins. Again, they keep feeding it to Adebayo as Hawkins. He has had some performance in this tournament. He's now 10 for 13 from the field and has hit six threes. Nice screen in the backcourt. Wes Unsel to be proud and nobody there to help out and communicate. Jackson. There's his shot. Yeah. Nice ball face. Floater. You like this kid. I love him. I, I, I just think he's worked so hard on his game. I recommend that he work on the shooting. Oh, nice cross. Let's go. Bradley says no. Whoop. That's his second block and it came right over to Hicks. And Bradley's calling for it down low. He wants it. They uh, give him too hard of a pass. And Burry's got to bring it down, get a better angle, had a good opportunity to feed the post. No one knows it more than he does. Well, Coach, how about the effort, not just running the court, but on defense. Briscoe going for the lob to Bam. And Bradley sniffs it out. 
Just fantastic anticipation, playing extremely hard. This is how the game has changed. They block lobs now. <laughs> Forget shots. <laughs> Pretty good elevation by the big fella. Mulder into the game he, and fires up the three. Uh, they give him the green light because he can really stroke it. Look at his blow by. Barry. And one. Two at the line coming up. Who delivered? the Buick expectation shattering performance of the day. Tune in to Inside March Madness presented by Buick and find out. I don't see uh, Barry slowing down at all. This trainer's the MVP, whatever he did. <laughs> Doug Hopper said he, li he limped to the locker room and came jogging out. Uh, but, but for Kentucky, though, you have to form a wall in transition. Joel Barry, one of the best, as De'Aaron Fox as well, mm -hmm. of getting to the basket in transition. And Monk coming back in, if they had made that, they dodge one a little bit, Carolina. The defense is a lot better when Monk is on the sideline. I think you got to go back inside the BAM. Meeks does a better job than Hicks or Bradley. Hawkins. Jump stop and two more. Good stuff. Playing with so much confidence. I like Forrest Perry left too. I know he can get there. Benson. A little confusion. Who's that intended for? Jackson that? says for me. He got it for the right guy. <laughs> Boy, he unjacks that shot as quickly as anybody. Yeah, going under again, this time on Briscoe. A little deep. Double up with Barry. And it's the state Kentucky ball. So now they'll be able to get Monk in on the whistle. And look at Hawkins. I mean, he, he has been so good, efficient, making big shots for the Wildcats. And here, look at the release, Grant. You know, he reminds me a little bit of Rip Hamilton from UConn, how he moves without the basketball, quick release. Yeah, maybe, just, better, maybe a little better range at this point. And they just hung Rip's uh, shirt up at the Palace. Yeah. Honoring him. Timeout Kentucky having trouble getting that ball inbounds. Three ball, got it! Monk's gonna take it, got it! Wow! And Jackson, the layup and the foul! Monk, got oh, it! Dagger! That was some game, that was the first time in Carolina history it scored 100 points in a non-overtime game and lost. And, you know, talking to the two coaches yesterday, you know how much Coach Cal's team has stepped up defensively since then. Roy was concerned if his team had improved as much defensively since December in that matchup. I think they both improved, but I think Kentucky more so. But I like what Roy said to all of us about how he's going to handle that ball screen going under. A lot of little things that can be effective. Right, right here, you're going to go under, and they try to go over on Briscoe. Fox still on the bench with two fouls. A little gamble by Meeks. Out of bio every time he's gotten it down low. They've given him fits. And, and they are double, right? They are swarming him. But wow, that's two great blocks by Meeks. And Hicks, he's got to thank as well, getting over there quickly. They are a different team without that guy on the floor, aren't they? The Aaron. Just imagine he'll have even more energy in the second half when he gets back. Three to shoot. Out of bio. Taps it. They wave off over the, the basket. Top. Over the top. I think it might have. It's on. Wow. It's on Bam. Tell you what, Bam is really owning that three-second lane, though. You keep giving him these opportunities, and you're going to pay dearly. I thought that maybe just just a little bit of a play on. Well, I guess underneath there's a little bang bang. But these opportunities so far, he's 0 for 5 from the field. Mm -hmm. But to keep going to him, I think, particularly with Fox out, the creator. If this in. Tar Heels have hit the last four shots. Oh, don't leave him. Make it five with how Jackson. Could, how could you leave him now? Briscoe's man at Humphreys. He got jammed up with him at number 44. You know what he can do. A lot of damage. What's been impressive, though, is what Jackson's doing on the defensive end. The challenge of guarding Malik Monk. Yeah, nice job here. Jackson fought his way through. I like a play on. He may get called for the next one, though, with the crowd. Monk. Back to the rim, and bouncing outside the Barry. Yeah. 
there. Okay. Top of the key, front of the rim. Off the floor with it is Humphreys. Great block out by Kentucky. To the corner. Hawkins, can he do it again? Yes! That kid. Has he, has he missed here in the tournament? Has he's, he enjoyed this? <laughs> Last go round. Nice push off. Effectively. Hurry. Right back with two. Well, you can't take a breathe, a breath. You got to get back and get in the stance. Risco. Hawkins. Stolen by Pinson. Numbers. Oh, give it up. Barry. Block. Jackson follows. And that's what happens if you run the break. You got a lot of people contributing on that end of the floor, but I thought Barry should have given it up to Jackson. Pinson slaps the floor. Nice pass. Risco whips it over to Humphreys. Two more. He's hit a couple of shots. How about the Aussie contributing soundly? Cross screen and a down screen. Henson and a whistle. Paul against Kentucky. Six minutes to go. First half. Tar Heels 31 24 here in Memphis. Your game summary Justin Jackson, 10 for Carolina. Dominique Hawkins leading Kentucky with 10. But the Wildcats will continue to sit Fox with the two fouls. Look at this action on the defensive end by North Carolina. And where Williams talked about his defense not getting better. It looks great here in the first half. Going under on the screen to roll, forcing Fox to shoot from downtown. You can live with that shot if you're North Carolina. So Fox sits, and you see Adebayo was called for that foul going to the break. He has two also. Do we see them anymore yeah. in the first half? I wouldn't play either one of them. I just try and get nurse this to halftime. Fox is such a valuable contributor to this team. You don't want him to get a third. If it gets away, yes. Would you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. You have to also here get Monk going. Jackson's doing a great job, but it's about manufacturing baskets right now for Kentucky. Can they get some scoring against this tough defense? So, Penson off on the front end of a one on one. Briscoe slipping and getting it back out high with seven to shoot. Monk shut off. Briscoe lost it on the way in and more numbers for North Carolina. Barry gives it up this time. Jackson misses it from the reverse side but it's off Kentucky. Maybe Barry knows something we don't. So before I want him to give it up he did the right thing. Uh, unusual for Jackson not to convert. There they are the two Wildcats. So vital what they do sitting out here at 543 to go first half. And right now, North Carolina, you want to get into this here and get, get a more of a of a lead in this game. Well, you have two guys out for Kentucky. Bradley, nice move. Got around Humphreys. How about that drop step? Clever. I know he's got a little hook, but how about that dance? Look like Brad ten. Doherty out he, there. You know, he does remind you too. I've heard guys say the same thing. Maybe not as big across the top, but he's gonna be a big impact guy. Nice cut. Back door for Briscoe. And that will be there against North Carolina. They overplay the wings. Hard cuts will be there. A little hold by Monk. Didn't think he had it. Anytime you went to that post grant, you're susceptible, right? I'm not sure why you're overplaying Briscoe, not known for his shooting, but great cut and read there by Humphreys. And that is the second on Monk. Dom Gummit. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, but just like you, Siggy, just what you said. You know, why are you denying out there? He's not known to deep. One and one, Jackson. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I women's tournament. NCAA.com women's final four is in Dallas. Coming up on Friday, the 31st, and next Sunday, April 2nd. So Monk's going to stay out there with the two. As we move inside, five minutes to go. Back nice door cut. again. Monk, Bradley was there to defend it, but they say there was contact. Uh, they're doing a great job lifting now, stepping and going, as Grant alluded to. And you bring him up, set him up, show and go. And just really good, solid basketball. Step and go. Love it. A little Princeton maneuver by Cal. But it's the second whistle on Bradley, so Meeks is 
going to check in after the first free throw. How about Monk now? That's his third point of the game after the 47 against the Tar Heels out in Vegas. You know, it was a great line. He said, I, I don't get tired when I'm in the <laughs> zone when I'm on like a streak, that. Yeah, right? He hits those streaks. So he might be a little fatigued right now, but he can get it going quickly. I just think Jackson and others have contributed to holding him down. One of two. Well, he's got to get back quickly and establish. May, who popped the three early in this game. Hook shot. Rattles out, and that's Humphreys giving them some valuable minutes off the bench. The trailer, Monk from way outside. Ooh, the slap back. From he across the river in Arkansas. <laughs> 60 miles away. Hey, Ray's within an hour's drive of here. I think he can make a shot from there. Double up on Jackson. Off the floor with it as Humphreys in the end. And a whistle. It's a foul on Kentucky. It's on Willis. And he's got two. I didn't see that foul there. It, a loose ball. I think this one, you just let it go. Oh, it's Nico Dimer. Both players making the extra effort. And Willis called for a foul for a little hold on the arm. I think that might be number two for him. It is. That is one of those. Does you got to relax as a referee too, huh? Just let it breathe a little, just like us, I guess. <laughs> you sound like Whoopi. One and one. <laughs> Four Kentucky players have two fouls. Carolina has three. Bradley, Seventh Woods, and Penson. And considering the foul trouble for Kentucky, as Penson checks back in the game, they're in good shape. Down six, four minutes left. You just have to get through this half mm -hmm. and not have uh, too much of a lead to overcome in the second half. Well, uh, they were their philosophy was to push when it was there and then run some clock. They're going to have to run a little more clock in the half court set, I think, just to nurse it and stay in contact. Step and go again. Again, Jackson, why are you denying out there? Hawkins. And Mulder in because of the foul problem. Risk Humphreys for the third time, missing for the first. Snapped out of bounds off the hands of Willis. North Carolina has not trailed in this game. Its biggest lead was nine. It's a six point margin in Memphis. Winyan Gabriel seeing first action in this game for Kentucky. And both benches really being tested and re responding in different ways. With Fox on the bench and Monk uh, nursing it down to halftime for Kentucky. The only Wildcat starter on the floor right now is Briscoe. As Mulder's returned also to the floor. A little jump, a nice cut. That's Open what they got to do. And he almost missed the dunk. And that's that double to double. They had the four man high and then the dive. They're going big to big. Carolina Nation holding his breath as that thing rattled around the rim for a moment. <laughs> But 18 bench points to eight in favor of the Tar Heels. Plus 10. And a good aggressive rebound by Meeks. As Britt tries to take middles, cut off. Jackson reset out to Pinson. A nice little reset inside, too. He's got the height advantage yep. here. Tapped around, back out to Hawkins. Bad foul. Bad foul by Meeks. Uh, those are the ones he doesn't need. You're right. And, and it's crazy right now Kentucky doing a good job of limiting on the offensive boards but here May just dives to the basket and almost missed the easy two. Well he has been playing well though hasn't he? Oh it's a little snap back gather. You wonder if North Carolina made an adjustment on that double team knowing that they're coming diving like you said. That was the first foul on Meeks and it's one and one for Hawkins.
Uh, Jackson can elevate, as you meant, even on a deep shot, too. He doesn't need much space. Driving. Lost it on the way in. Briscoe. He's cut off. Whips it outside the Mulder. And Gabriel saves it for Kentucky. Here's Briscoe taking the lane and off the glass with the left hand. Hey, Gabriel with the save. What a great attack of the 10 by Briscoe. And good hands again. May. Three. How about the way this kid's been playing? Tapped around, and it's off Kentucky. The Wildcat fans wanted a foul on Meeks. And I'll tell you, Briscoe just giving you a lot of effort there. Last play, deflection, steals, even on the block out there, preventing Big Meeks from getting the offensive rebound. Uh, that shot of Monk, he, didn't, he looked like he wanted to get in there and play. Nice play. Oh. Ooh, I thought it was a jump ball. They call it on Brett. And I'll tell you what, he has his teammates on the bench with foul trouble, but Briscoe's energy, effort, he's their senior, or excuse me, their sophomore leader and doing it on both ends of the floor for Kentucky. Now, normally you would have been right, senior leader. <laughs> <laughs> Things are a little different in Kentucky. <laughs> They've had a few guys leave early. The officials hold a little summit, and it's confirmed the call is on Britt. Kentucky, it's it's double bonus now. So Briscoe comes back to the line. He was there early in the game and missed both. In fact, Kentucky as a team is only four for nine. Tonight on 60 Minutes, what's the truth about fake news? It's a headline no American will want to miss. Let's meet the players and coaches who have scored huge upsets in the unlikeliest of places on 60 Minutes tonight. You know, coming into this game, and you knew it was going to be all about toughness. Who's going to really compete and get after it? And I think that's what we're going to see in the second half when all the mainstays will be on the floor. You know, that first matchup, Bill, you were there to see it. Kentucky out-rebounded North Carolina. Now, you're talking about the number one rebounding team in the country. In fact, they've never had a rebounding margin in North Carolina history like the plus 13 that this team has mm -hmm. in every game this year. One of the few times, one of only three times they got out rebounded on the season and they lost every time, all three times when they were out rebounded. And they're doing a pretty good job here at limiting offensive rebounds for Carolina. Yeah. Boy, they're really sloppy with the ball lately. Got numbers. Boulder flies in, overshoots it. Humphreys though, out to Hawkins and unable to hit it. That's Britt fighting for it to Jackson, surveying, stepping up. That's a two, way too long. Uh, he didn't get hit and he fell. He'll attack. Briscoe charging through, no whistle. Out to Mulder from three. Well, they're dying for him to make a couple of those. And Kentucky unable to convert as North Carolina's ball, but the effort that the Wildcats have here, unbelievable. On both ends of the floor, Hawkins, yeah, looked like he did touch it last. You mentioned Mulder, Bill. He's 0 for 4 coming off the bench. He's a guy that can. He's had stretches this season. He can really fire it from long range. I've seen him in practice just nail every one of them. There's different circumstances right now, but I just love the way both clubs are going after it on the glass. One minute to go, first half. Britt gets set, front of the rim. Long rebound to Hawkins. Mulder on the wing, coming in. Short with the shot, well defended. And toughness by Barry. I'll tell you what, put the glasses away. Count your chicklets. A lot of action around the rim. Here comes the double team, triple team. That's the way they got to go if they don't get the dive. Good recovery. Barry left open. Back to the rim. And a call underneath. Hicks was fouled, I think. And Gabriel got him. Yeah. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Clark, Kenny, and Charles. 
first half analysis and they'll let you know how South Carolina punched its ticket to the final four earlier today that's coming up on AT&T at the half double bonus Hicks at the line to shoot two. so it was a theme yesterday in the regional finals it was all about the West Gonzaga and Oregon congratulations again to the Bulldogs and the Ducks both advancing and now back in is Fox here for the final 18 seconds and Monk as well. But what will be the theme today with South Carolina winning? Will it be Carolina Sunday mm -hmm. or will it be SEC Sunday? We will find out. Yes. <laughs> we Second will half find out. Might be even better than this first half, which has been a doozy with well, 17 they, seconds to go. Boy, these subs have done such a great job on both teams. Gotta go. Boxers. Been sitting down for a long time. Let's see, comes right in. And no call. Jackson got it away in time. And it's over the top of the backboard. It was worth the effort, but dangerous by Fox. I thought if he get in that lane and shoot the pull up. I was worried he might get a charge That's going what I into meant. the basket. Exactly. exactly. Like right here, I'd pull up right there. And he is one of those kids unabashed at the attack to the 10. How about the big fella for North Carolina walling them up, keeping the hands up. All right, Tracy with Roy Williams. Both coaches, both teams, just hard fought effort in that first half. What stood out to you, though, from your team? Well, I think both teams were playing hard. They didn't shoot it very well, and we were terrible the last four or five minutes, getting good shots. We let their defense be stronger than our offense. What do you need to see from your team then in the second half? Make some daggum shots and some free throws. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Here are the Buick first half stats. Carolina with a plus five rebounding margin. Five up on the board. Tracy with a visit with Coach Cal. Coach, four of your starters in foul trouble, but you're only down five Amazing, points. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. <laughs> I, I was so proud how they fought. One call after the other over the backs, and I, okay, just settle down, and we're in the game. Um, let's just do what we do. So it, it's, I'm happy where, where we are right now. What does it come down to, though, in this second half? We're going to have to execute a little bit better. We're going to have, we gave up some baskets when we trapped. We gave up some different things that we've got to take care of. Thanks a lot. Today, Dominique Hawkins with a big first half. He had 10 points, while Monk and Fox combined had 11. What do you think we're going to see here in the second half? I think Fox, who sat most of the first half, has to be aggressive. Can he regain his rhythm to help his team get back in the game? I think the winner is going to be decided by the point card. Barry's got to run the team, get other people involved, and of course, Fox, that ability to penetrate and find people. Both teams return to their starting fives to begin the second half. And the final piece of the puzzle for Phoenix. Who will win the South bracket as they have a chance to go inside. It's knocked out of the hands of Adebayo. Great weak side help there by Pinson. Sniffed out that play. <laughs> I love the way Monk moves without the ball, though. Oh. He is clever. He uses those curls, fades. Struggle for Adebayo in the first half, 0 for 5 from the field. Fox has that swatted away by Hicks. And two on one here for Barry and company. Pull up jumper. Long with it. I tell you, Kentucky gets back in transition. Fantastic job. Briscoe cuts to the hole. Off the floor. Right. Snatched by Meeks, his 10th rebound. Now, Carolina has had nine consecutive empty trips. Six missed field goals without an offensive rebound and three turnovers in those nine. Ooh, Pinson not, not ready for it. There's another turnover. Uh, it's interesting. You've got to always see the basketball. But, you know, I didn't like Burry's jumper there earlier, like getting back into the flow, run the team a little bit. But right here, you've got to always see the basketball as a performer. So 10 straight empty trips for Carolina. At this end, Kentucky, going back to the first half, has missed its last eight from the floor. Briscoe. To the baseline, Willis. And he's like a second point guard out there, Briscoe. Penetrating, finding Willis for the open jumper. Fox with a little theatrics. Tenson, nice look. Drops it down to Hicks. Makes able open to get a look. hand on it to Jackson. Wow. And that's Hicks 
making contact with Willis. Great check out by Willis. And Jackson getting looks that he normally knocks down. The shots are too easy for Jackson, but great block out, as you said, by Willis. And Big Blue Nation excited that some calls were made against North Carolina. Very subdued, aren't they, <laughs> with the officials? Risco. Followed up for his first bucket of the game. Anytime you go to the rim, you attract the bigs. Nice cleanup job by Bam. And it's down to one. It had been nine in the first half. Carolina's never trailed. Meeks has it knocked out of his hand, and it's going to Kentucky. Great defense, but coach, right now, Kentucky is really running their offense through Briscoe. The great extra effort. Bam causing the deflection, and Hicks unable to control the ball. And we know that, that Kentucky likes it to ride the hot hand, and right now, a lot of curls for Briscoe, letting him be a facilitator and a playmaker for Kentucky. And also, Jackson's doing a good job. Nice there, curl again, as you called it. But Jackson's doing a good job on Monk as part of the problem. Stay at home on Briscoe. You know, he's not going to beat you deep. Out of bio. And uh, whistle on Meeks. His second. And I, and I love when Kentucky goes inside. Out of bio has missed some easy chippies there in the first half. But feed the big fella. He's hungry. And Jim, and Jim, you talked about momentum in North Carolina's 13 straight empty trips down the court. Incredible. And the freshman from the state of North Carolina puts Kentucky in front for the first time. Fox has got to be careful. Move those legs. The spindles. Pinson rattles out. Meeks from the rear. I think Willis attack drive. And then slide inside makes this is one of the great offensive rebounding teams held in check that first half. Top offensive rebounding percentage in the nation, 42% North Carolina. Third foul on Willis. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? If your bracket's busted, still play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run Game, NCAA.com, and in the March Madness Live app. Now, the senior from Charlotte who passed Brad Doherty and Mitch Kupchak Friday in the game against Butler moved into seventh all-time rebounding list in Tar Heel history. Hits them both to get the lead back to North Carolina. We'll see if Fox can get it going a little bit too. Nice back cut. And Jackson is able to out wrestle for it. Up ahead, Pinson. Again, the balance. Nothing easy. Bam on Jackson. I think they could get it to him. Oh, goodness. No show, no fake. Fox. Got it back. <laughs> wow. Oh, and it's Hicks. Behind the back, Barry. Numbers. To the lane. Should have gave it up. Should have gave it up. Absolutely. He had a four-on-two opportunity, and you had Jackson wide open in the corner. And I love this kid. He's got to play more like a point guard, though. Find other people. you got a wing pass. Stay under control. Ooh. Dump down her wing and an easy call for the official. Too good. Got to be more under control and play sound. The 11th turnover of the game committed by North Carolina. Yeah. And Jackson with the body. His that, first. Got to give you a little space once he catches it, though. And that's that part of that freedom of movement, that change that was made in college basketball. Yeah. A few years ago, that might not have been a call for a foul. Well, he intruded in his territory, which you've been doing all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> It's not making you uncomfortable, is it, Bill? No. 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 
Hey, we, we, can, we can share one mic. We, that's right. <laughs> we, <laughs> we hang close. I'll be the base, though, with the Temptations. Nice gather there. Willis. Good solid check, Meeks. North Carolina without a field goal in over seven minutes. That's a stretch of nine missed field goals. Look at Jackson, almost come up with a good inside rebound. I think Burry's got to settle a little bit more into a groove of getting others involved. So they've gone dry from the field, but lead it by one. Jim, we talk about the greatness of Fox and Monk, but defensively they're doing a fantastic job. Since the last North Carolina field goal with 323 left in the first half, 0 for 10 and seven turnovers by the Tar Heels. Credit the Wildcats mm. in their defense. Yeah, they really have no have an offensive scheme. With May on the floor, now they got another threat besides Jackson. Jackson and hit on a shot by Monk, and it could be a four-point play out of the break. Well, we talked about that size disparity. And he made jack him as quick as anybody. And that'll be number three on Monk. And just a little turn, a little screen, and the knockdown, and a chance for four. Big time delivery. And Monk, who's great without the basketball, pays a price for being tardy. His 101st three of the season. That is a North Carolina single season record. And that breaks that seven and a half minute plus drought you spoke of, Grant, with a four point play and a third foul on Monk. And more importantly, the back screen pop. These are two good guys without the basketball. Monk and Jackson. Fox. Frisco. A great penetrator, but back outside they go to Fox with three to shoot over Penson. I'll tell you what, Carolina doing a fantastic job of keeping Fox out of the paint, mm -hmm. making him a jump shooter. Fox now two for eight from the field. Five points. I would ride Meeks a little bit now with Humphreys on him. Penson. Ooh, just That's out of bio. Who blocked it into the arms of Fox. Over to Briscoe. Nice rebound, big guy. <laughs> His 100th dunk of the season. Big on both ends of the floor. Great presence. Boy, he boxed out, didn't he? Much better here. You pry. Little Steve Nash. Ooh, up and oh, down. Got stuck. Ooh. I guess he released it and hit the floor. Nate. Pull up. Nice play. Tap me. by Meeks. Who gets it back? Off the glass. Meeks again. And a Kentucky foul. Boy, is that vintage Carolina. Power at the rim. The big body bump by the Pleasant Kennedy Meeks. <laughs> Use that derriere and belly. And stick after it. Oh, that is impressive. And that wears you out, too, it's, as a defender, right? It's deflating for Kentucky when that happens. Mm -hmm. Four or five opportunities and a foul. 14 rebounds for Meeks. First personal on Humphreys. Really stroking them nice the last three. Willis onto the floor. Again, he's got three. And Hawkins, who had the big first half, also returns. Now, this is a tough match at the other end with the small perimeter play of Kentucky. Fox blows by Penson, and there's Meeks. Into the arms of Monk. Out to Willis, three. Meeks is being some kind of presence, isn't he, he? I think he's coming out to get a blow, but you are absolutely right, Jim. He has been a big time factor, a big fella. Blocking shots, 15 rebounds. Go to him, go to him. Give he him a had, thank you. He had a position on Adebayo. Here's May. Pretty switch. Oh, way to use that left How hand. about that switch? So skilled. So clever, protecting. 
May has been an X factor for them in this tournament. He actually led him in rebounds two of the first three NCAA games. And a double-double the other night. Yeah, his first career. Monk, long. And a great challenge. Size prevailing. And Carolina, out of sync for so long, is now on a 9-2 run and hoping to add to it. Really not doing their cross screens. Barry challenges Fox. And that's Willis doing a good job with the tap. Get it back out after grabbing it to Monk. How about that defense, too? Every shot that Monk and Fox are taking is heavily contested. Absolutely. In the right spot. Of course, if you are a guy that goes without the ball, as both Monk and Jackson do, you're a little step ahead on occasion. Nice drop. Willis. How about this kid? Mixing his game up a little bit. He's generally just a three-point shooter when he arrived. The floater game. Monk doing a good job defensively. That's not always been his strong suit. Yeah. He said he never really thought no, about no, defense. Never thought about but, defense until he came to Kentucky. Fox said he's always loved playing defense. Here he is giving it up. Long. Pretty. <laughs> what a great setup. They do that as well as anybody in the country. Willis with the perfect lob pass out of bio. A lot of tired guys out there right now. May. Nice pump. Gets set up. Oh! oh. Splashes the a, three. A little ball screen pop. And then the clever dance step. When we met with Cal yesterday, May was the guy he identified who scared him. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so, the way he's playing. Just saying we can't afford for him to come off the bench and contribute like he did against Butler. Hawkins, that's Pinson reaching in. Fox, back on the board again. And Pinson with a nice play. The alert, Fox. Been a long time since Fox had last scored. Well, trapped him, they haven't done this. Saved it, could open up an open look. Fox had scored Kentucky's first five of the game. Didn't score again until that bucket. Nice that's a great down. ball fake. And it counts. I'll tell you, this should be on the floor, though. Willis. I agree. I landed agree. on his back. Well, let's hope he's okay. Of course, you bite around that rim. It was just a little bang. But I think, how about the confidence of May, though? I think it should be not shooting there. <laughs> May. Time out on the floor as Willis struggles to get to his feet. And May right here might have got away with a little travel, but so smart, heady, ball fake, drawing a foul on Willis. And he's been the X factor for North Carolina, really a continuation of his performance against uh, against Butler. And that well, was his fourth foul, too, on Willis. Was, he was able to get to his feet and walk to the bench, but you can see how they shut down these decorated freshman guards of Kentucky who again combined for 60 in the Sweet 16 game. And Fox, when he scored just a moment ago, he had gone almost 27 minutes of action since he had last scored. And you know that was a point of emphasis for Roy Williams, not to let these guys get off. They scored almost 70% of the offensive production against UCLA. Mm -hmm. But the other guys have to step up, and they've done a pretty good job. How about that loosey-goosey game in December? Ooh. Well, they both ring the bell for 100. Uh, you think these teams have worked on their defense? <laughs> they, they have been solid. They have improved. May completes the three-point play. He's got 13 now off the bench. Fox without it. No Monk on the floor. No Meeks on the floor for Carolina as Bradley is down low and Britt, defensively. And Britt, a small defender now on Fox. See if he can take advantage of the height. Humphreys, long. Nice rebound. Out of bio. And all the way up, he was fouled. I think Stillman White on the bottom underneath. I think they're going to give it to him. They still can't figure out his number. Yeah, they got it finally. It is on Stillman White. His first. 
Out of bio with nine points, eight of them coming here in the second half. Follow Bleacher Report on Instagram. Get the coolest sports content before anyone else. Join millions of others. Follow Bleacher Report on Instagram now. Yeah, Adebayo really did a solid job. That's his third offensive rebound. I think he's finally figured it out. If these guys, guys are going to jack him up, <laughs> I'm just going to go to the class, try and dominate and finish the deal. Got to get the ball somehow. Yeah. A little double screen for Jackson. Look at this quick release. Tough Down shot. and out. Stillman White jumps to the occasion, oh. and he bounces off his knee as he was about to go <laughs> up with it. He saw, he saw Dominique there. He thought he could propel upward and right here. Never got control of the ball looking at the rim. Good hustle play, though. I mentioned Stillman White had played in those regional games all the way back in 2012 and started in an elite eight game mm -hmm. against Kansas, did not have a single turnover in that game. He had been on a mission, correct? Yeah, yeah, he was gone for two years on a LDS mission out of Wilmington, North Carolina. The Fox playing off the ball. Out of bio. He's got the second half. Hot hand for the Cats. Yeah. Right up, right? You like that, going to the big fella. Yeah, why not? That's your bread and butter right now out there. Red. A lot of dribbling here. Hicks is there. Great Bounce pass. pass to Bradley. Goaltender, good call. How about that pass, though, oh, by Hicks? beautiful. He really is a promising. Humphrey's youngster. making the effort there, but, yeah, definitely, without a doubt, a goaltending. But Hicks, Look just a that. tremendous pass. Looking like a point guard. you got to have a long arm, though, to get around that wraparound. Mary back on the floor. Look at how they're stringing that out. They're not trapping. Now Briscoe. In the lane. Tough. Boy, can he drive. He can. He squares those shoulders like a great running back attacking. He's got a little hook in his game, too. Nice help by Fox. Fox. He's got Briscoe on his right side. He's going to take it all the way. And that's where he is so dangerous in the open court. Fox, great hands, out in transition. And maybe this will get him going, get some rhythm. He hit a shot earlier, but coaches love when you rake down and help a little bit. Do some business. Help your big guy out. And right here, attacking the rim. Terrific play. But Jackson getting back in the scene. But this kid is so tough at the 10. The call was on Britt. Fox to shoot one more. And Monk, who's been sitting for a while, returns with three fouls and only six points. And Britt comes out. Fox from Houston Cypress Lakes High School. Born in New Orleans. His parents were from Mississippi. And he wants to hit the free throws because his mother, he said, was a great free throw shooter at the University of, Little, of Arkansas Little Rock. Exactly. Top yeah. 10 all time, he M said. Mother knows best. Yeah. Exactly. It must be a tough dinner when you miss a couple. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. And now the, the matchup, I think, for Carolina is a problem with the smaller guys. Here's that little trap. Hicks tapped up nice. and in as Meeks returns and contributes right away. And that's what he can do. Without a doubt. Man, did you see that move though by Hicks? He kept like waiting for somebody condor. to cut him off. Like a condor. Right this now, right now, Monk and Fox, they have to they have to carry the team here. They've been quiet, but they got to get going for Kentucky. Nice pass. Humphreys. How about the assist by Adebayo? He just keeps on trucking that kid, keeps playing. Doesn't mind touching it every once in a while. The lead is one for North Carolina. I think you got to dive right now. Your Pinson Briscoe's is zoning up. Three point shot, back of the rim. And Kentucky looking to take the lead for the second time in this game. His box flies in. Humphreys puts it back up and will shoot two. Woo! Humphreys from down under. Soaring big time at the rim. What a contribution from the bench for Cal.
Welcome back. Roy Williams in North Carolina. We're back here in 2009. They won the Memphis Regional, went on to win it all. So Roy Williams keeping it the same. Look at him doing the honorary duck master. He was the walk of the duck parade at the Peabody <laughs> Hotel, much like he did in 2009. Only this side, alongside him, his grandchildren, Aiden and Court. You're just setting us up to tell everybody that the winner gets the ducks next week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the national semifinals. I think there, the, there, Scott. I, I think the lead duck boy. is a one and done, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he's not, he's not. <laughs> Humphreys off Hicks' third foul. Ties it at 57. And don't forget, we're just a couple of weeks away from a tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. And now Humphreys for the lead. And that's the second time in this game Kentucky has led. A testimony to the kids who don't play a whole lot of minutes, working hard at practice, and then teen it up with the bigs. An 11 4 run for the Cats. Got to use Meeks. He's on the floor. He's fresh. Over the top. Hicks. Pretty long. Up and in for the lead back to the Heels. You called it. Get the ball inside where the advantage is in Kentucky there. Or excuse me, North Carolina. Clear out isolation for Fox. I like this dribble once in a while, run, have a run out ball screen. Here it comes. And How do you handle it? Briscoe's been able to turn the corner. Throws now over to Humphreys. How about this kid? Wow. From Sydney, Australia. How do you mate? A seven foot sophomore coming up huge in this game. And I've been at practices where they really get after him, and he has just hung tough and improved. Averages three a game. He's got ten. Hicks steps. No call on the floor. Retrieved by Adebayo. And they just swarm on defense, Kentucky. Adebayo, way to move your feet. Not foul. Same play. The attack. Look at this kid switch his hands. Pull. Well, he stayed on his left hand, but he uh, went right. And that's Kentucky's biggest lead of the game. He can adapt, though. Ooh. Back screen, get the big guy to the box. Ooh, tough tough shot. shot. Rattles out. Fresco off the floor. This is where you got to reach inside. Good selection by Kentucky. And dig deep defensively. For the heels. This is where Monk is pretty tough. Those baseline rubs. Step up, jumper. Oh, oh. Humphreys again. Oh. I got to question Cal's judgment. This kid should have been playing all year. <laughs> a career high for Humphreys. And uh, this little roll and replace is usually for Monk or Willis, not for Isaac Humphrey. You keep playing like this, you'll be Sir Isaac. And then Fox, a one-on-one -on -one situation, isolation. They played his left hand, went to his right. Fantastic finish. Too good a player to stay quiet for long. But it's been that man right there, Isaac Humphrey, stepping up when the opportunity presented itself. North Carolina led by six with 10 minutes to go in this game. But over the last five minutes, it's been a 17 to six run by the Cats. And right now, Carolina's got to reach inside, run their offense, be solid. Baseline bumps looks like they're trying to establish. They're trying to get Meeks at the box. And a bio on Barry after the switch. Carolina looks out of sorts here they on sure offense. Do. Five to shoot. Runner, Pinson. All right. A little uh, contribution. They need somebody else to light it up. It looks like Carolina's gone to a, a zone here, a 2 3 zone to stop the momentum of Kentucky. Yeah, this is where Fox is really good. They lob out of this on a drive. Humphreys, can he do it again? 
short this time. And Meeks snags what is now a career-high 17th rebound. And a great adjustment there by North Carolina, but Humphreys, I don't know, that was a heat check right there to see if he can make it. He was so wide open, <laughs> pulled the string. But if Carolina runs his own, they have to have an awareness for where Monk is. He moves so well without the basketball. That foul line wide open, too, and then they drive it, find the bigs. First on Briscoe, fifth foul on Kentucky in the half. Oh, the hands are so quick and active. Meeks got to load up in there. Jackson, again, shot clock running down. Floater, back of the rim, and it goes. <laughs> down great, to one. Great defense, but better offense. Yeah. That always wins out. Got a flat. Monk's outside. I like to see him flash into that foul line. They've been using Briscoe as a good driver. And Bam always looms large on any penetration. Fox. There he is. Blocked <laughs> outside. It's Penson. Take it off to the basket. Ooh. And he hits the floor. And let me tell you, are you used to seeing point guards no. go up and block shots like that? I know Fox was called for the foul. But wow, what a fantastic play. These guys are leaving it all on the course. Kentucky up one. We'll be back. Your summary, Theo Penson of North Carolina is heading to the line to shoot two, can give the Tar Heels a lead back after being fouled by Fox, his third. Here's the Capital One Cup impact performance. And Jim, it's been Isaac Humphrey stepping up, making timely plays, making Andrew Gaze proud <laughs> with his performance. While the, a scoring low for Kentucky and the backcourt struggling from the field, the bench has stepped up. First half, as you said, it was Hawkins. The second half has been all that man right there, Humphreys. He's played so well, I've knighted him. <laughs> and of course, P.J. Collis, while doing radio, he was Andrew Gaze's coach at Seton Hall. You did that final four, Jim. Yes, we did. Long ago, Henson knots it at 64. Charming young guy, isn't he? Had a little meeting with the different teams. Yeah, 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 you can just tell his teammates love the fact they turned to him to give them an attitude and some laughter. So the last six to North Carolina to take the lead at 65-64. And they go to man again. Just a little wrinkle after the timeout. Top ah. shot. Tapped out. It's Pinson again. And that's Pinson's that's length that's right. to be able to contest that shot. Puts pressure on the point guards, these little switches. Well, the Heels, who last Sunday came from five down late against Arkansas and scored the last 12 points of that game. They were down just a few moments ago. Five to Kentucky and Barry off on the three. Follow up, no basket. The foul is on and pointing to Fox. Hawkins, no, Hawkins, I think. And it is on Hawkins. On the checkout, just couldn't get control. They're pushing, got May way underneath the glass. In North Carolina, they'll send three guys to the boards. Now that's a call for that foul. That's been a tradition since Dean Smith, right? Oh, I got nightmares. Offensive rebounding. <laughs> the late great Dino. It's a seventh team foul on Kentucky, so May, who strokes it, with great authority from the outside, he's been making these threes on Struggle. the season. 17 of 33, 51 percent. One and one. Of course, this is tournament time, and he's turned into a whole new animal. <laughs> Don't miss Country Music's Party of the Year. Luke Bryan, Dirk Bentley host the Academy of Country Music Awards next Sunday after 60 Minutes. How about that? So much for your numbers, yeah, so Jim. much for that. Like I said, it's tournament time, and he's, he's creating all kinds of new numbers for his resume. He's got 15 for the game, 10 in the second half. Kentucky now down three. This is a dribble drive concept with a ball screen. Willis can tie it. Rebound out to May. Got what they wanted. Now they got to toughen up at this end. Eight unanswered for North Carolina. 
Just got to protect the basketball inside. Kentucky very good at breaking. Kentucky defensively must finish the defensive play by boxing out here after this shot. Barry off the glass. Wow. A little kiss by the little guy. Nice hesitation to freeze. Boy, this has to be feeling awfully familiar to last week. Timeout, Kentucky. If you're a Tar Heel fan, this is the script from a Sunday ago. Absolutely. It's not Arkansas. It's a team in blue. But the little guy who struggled early, able to deliver the punch and a sweet kiss in Memphis. 145 left. Look who's already set. South Carolina heading to the promised land for the first time. Same for Gonzaga. And Oregon hasn't been on this stage since 1939 when they won the championship 78 years ago tomorrow. But who will be the fourth and final team? And the winner to take on the Ducks in the semifinals next Saturday in Phoenix. Monk without the basketball dribble exchange. Taken Ooh. away by the Tar Heels, right in the hands of Barry. And not a good look either. It was to Briscoe, wasn't too a big. A little four corner without Phil Ford. <laughs> you want to run your stuff under 10. And Joel's going to go one on one. Barry here, or maybe a screen and roll. Watch out for a corner kick. Barry. And they got offense on Barry. That extension. How about the foot speed? Fox is some gamer. And right there, Briscoe, a tough physical defender. And you're right, a little push off, trying to create some separation by Barry. Nice sell, huh? Yeah, a little acting yeah. skills. But on this end, Kentucky out of rhythm here these last three minutes. Monk, no good. Tapped around and Pinson, who's come up with the basketball a number of times in the late going. Uh, they're going to have to give it. Kentucky scoreless for the last four minutes. And Fox commits that foul. He's the only guy you want to give it. That's number four. Yep. Now, Briscoe could have given it out here if they had so chosen. It'll be a one and one. Making him coming down the stretch. Yeah, the, the man who didn't play last game. Yeah. Doing a great job on the defensive end, and they're hitting a big free throw. Here's your reset. Each team with a couple of timeouts. Arrow, Carolina. 12 unanswered. Another late 12 nothing run. To Fox. Got wow. the three. What a find by Briscoe. The quick timeout down to one for Kentucky. You know, Briscoe, he's not going to jump out at you because he's not a great shooter, but he's got leadership qualities and ability to drive, draw, and find a slide box with a little nylon. Kentucky back. Tonight on CBS 60 Minutes, NCIS Los Angeles, Madam Secretary Elementary tonight only. CBS and you know you're going to extend the floor. I would go big if I were Kentucky on the ball a couple of years ago They didn't go big on the ball and something strange happened <laughs> well, remember? well also too you don't need to foul right away try to get yeah. a hard trap in the backcourt Create a turnover don't foul if the ball's in the backcourt and they are big bam on the ball Watch the home run pass here And Meeks the decision maker You can see over the traffic In trouble. Five seconds, and interesting that he took it out. You know, not quite the great decision maker. The only advantage was seen over the top, and guys got to sprint, you got to screen and step to the ball. And as the inbounder, you have to have a mental count in your head and know the timeout situation. Untimely turnover here by Meeks and Tar Heels. Now you want to force them to use some clock. Fox looked like a quick draw instead. Goes over to Willis. Monk. He's going to take it. Oh, wow, what a shot. Down the one. And Meeks again taking it out. Oh, oh, but Jackson, take it off. 
under the basket, lays it in. One thirty-three seconds. What a pull of the string. 25 seconds. Good defense here, making them use time. Fox gives it up. Out of bio, lost it on the floor. Oh, Carolina it. has the arrow. They get a jump ball and the, as you said, the possession arrow. Don't you <laughs> love the effort? The effort is sensational. And Malik Monk, big time shot. With the pump. Gathered himself and knocked it in. And of course, your guy Jackson, you love this play. Uh, JJ, what a great setup. Everybody up, the step and go. And look at the footwork here. JJ, Henny at the 10. I love how he gathered himself right there. Carolina possession. Timeout Tar Heels. Remember, if there is a foul here, which you'll expect, it'll be a one and one for North Carolina, leading by three. Here's the tie up. Look at Pinson, was the one who got his hands in there to knock it out of the hands of Adebayo. And you love it when three big guys on the floor diving for the loose ball, but made. They're going to let Meeks inbound well, it well, again. Well, the only thing about it, they may not want him to get fouled. Now, that could be uh, part of the reasoning. Couldn't get it in the last time. Now he does. A perfect trap. Double up on Jackson. And you didn't need the foul right there. Well, they had him in the corner. Well, 14 seconds. Yeah. yeah. You're going to send a first team All America to the line for a one and one. Now, we've seen kids grow up. Last year, the final four, we spent time with Jackson. Very quiet, understated. Different guy this year, huh? Isn't it great? And, and I think that's the real benefit of, as you did, we're fortunate enough to go the four years. And I know there's reasons kids do go and have to leave. Uh, but boy, the growth, so impressive in this kid. Huge shot right here. Ooh. Fox has it. Give it. Let's see if it. Monk. To tie it. Oh, oh. an impossible shot. Pinson. With five, looks up, driving in. May for the win. North Carolina with point three seconds to go. An incredible shot. Wow. <laughs> Maybe some major onions. How about that kid, the way he has played, the chain of events. And uh, you I'm not believing either one of them. Uh, First Monk and then May. And they are dancing on Franklin Street right now. Wow. Oh. And Malik Monk just big time shot. Two people hanging all over and knocking it down, tying up the game. What a fine two. We always talk about Pinson being a good passer, but May able to raise his level of play making big time and, shots. And you think May likes playing in Memphis here, huh? Uh, Two yeah. big time games for that young man. Well, let's just talk about what Kentucky has to do here. By the way, they've just confirmed here that it's not a three, it's a two. You see, he's easily, uh, you can tell he's inside the arc. But this but is 0.3 seconds. You can only tip you it. You can only tip it. Yeah, exactly. You can't set and shoot. Right, and defensively, if I'm Carolina, I have everybody back in the paint. I might, I might have one guy on the ball. But he has to be careful running the baseline, yeah. trying to draw a charge. Yeah, that's Sometimes true, too. If they have somebody up that. there, yeah. But this has got to be a long one for a tip, though. Anything in the backcourt, you're dead. I agree. Right? 25 years ago Tuesday, there was a guy that we know, Bill, who threw a pass <laughs> in a regional final at the end of the game. And I don't want all the Kentucky <laughs> listeners to be upset. You bringing that up, Jim? No, I, I didn't bring scared. that up. Who might that be? <laughs> oh no! I don't I just know. More. I just know it's a good one. How about these kids? Fantastic. Talked about toughness, getting off the deck, coming back. You mentioned the Arkansas game, and Grant talking about how he has played here in Memphis. <laughs> Something special. And this North Carolina team just driven since last summer to get back to the Final Four. Redemption—that's the term, Coach. Williams talked about how it gave this team fuel to work harder in the offseason. It's carried over all this season. And now they're going to put Bradley on the inbounds pass. Willis to Remember throw this? it in here for Kentucky. 
Heaves it down the floor. And they get it back on the baseline the other way. Just where to throw in. Yeah, and it never touched. Yeah. Just checking to see if it was touched. And if it's not touched, the ball will be yeah, back here on the baseline. Yeah. On the baseline yeah. North Carolina and ball. Bio is saying it touched his hand. Well, there weren't two people involved, so the rule is. And he's always stoic. We saw Chris Jenkins who hit the championship shot last year in Houston. No. 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 Uh, Pinson looked like he. At the last minute, kind of backed off of it. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. yeah, smart play. Interesting because there's the rule is if two people are involved in it, they go to the monitor. But I guess this is such an important situation. Well, it's going to go back to where Willis inbounded it. Carolina will inbound and give me some scenario here for Kentucky. Uh, there's, not, there's nothing really they can do. You just got to inbound the basketball unless there's an offensive yeah, foul yeah. by North Carolina. Be, I can't imagine anything happening. You just roll the just ball on the floor. It. It's well, over. Or throw it at somebody. Yeah. Yep. And don't push off or don't do anything any silly. A lot of guys might flop. It's over. North Carolina will be looking for redemption in the desert. Unbelievable performance. We talked earlier about toughness, about responding down a few points, and you can see the broken heart and look of Humphreys, who was magnificent. This was one of those pleasure to be aboard, it, huh? It really was. And, Coach, I thought North Carolina went to that zone with six minutes left for a couple of possessions. It took Kentucky out of sorts, and they were able to close out the game. When they went to that, to your point, they were down 64-59. They came out of a timeout, and that's when they made the change defensively, and they went on a 12-0 run, just as they had last week when they were pushed to the last minutes by Arkansas, which had a five-point lead on them. And, and what was interesting, then there was a timeout, and he went back to man and threw them off even a little more. So. Some strategy and just some great play. And on to Phoenix, huh? On to Phoenix. Yesterday belonged to the West. We've got two teams from the West in a Final Four for the first time ever. But today belonged to the Carolinas. How about that? And Roy has a way with ducks. We saw that today. Yes, we did. <laughs> you know, he better bring his cane with him. <laughs> South Carolina. Gonzaga, that will be the first game up. They've just determined that. 6.09 Eastern Time tip. And then Oregon and North Carolina will be the second national semifinal. What a pleasure. We were treated here uh, this afternoon. This, this was. You know, you look at this bracket right here. You got all kinds of interesting scenarios maybe for Monday. You could have like the All West final, the, you know, Gonzaga Oregon matchup, you know. Somebody suggested if that happens, they should move it to Seattle or something. But not. We love the fact that we can finish. Or you can have a North Carolina, South Carolina championship matchup. And of course, other possibilities too. Tracy, over to you. Thanks a lot, Jim. I have the whole team over here. Everyone's saying, Luke May, Luke May. How about the way he's come up in these last two games and especially with that shot? I'm the guy that wanted him to come as a walk on. So how dumb am I? He's a big time place today, big time place two days ago. Theo made a heck of a drive. I didn't want to call a timeout at open court. He found Luke. Luke knocked it in. You got to congratulate Kentucky. What a great run. They made three threes in the last minute. It seemed like everything. But my guys are pretty doggone tough, too. What can you say, though, know, about the toughness? You just said it. They're tough. What can you say about their toughness and how they showed that today? Under four minute timeout, I told them it was the same thing as Arkansas. We were down five, but we played our butts off that last few minutes, and that's what they did today. Luke, I got to ask you what was going through your mind. Monk ties it up there, and what were you thinking? I was just, I was late on the switch, and I just kind of got out there late, and then Theo found me, and I just shot it like I do every day in practice. You know you guys are going back to the final four. What is it? Yeah. Jim, back to you. All right, Luke May, the pride of Huntersville, North Carolina, with a career high 17, and Roy is dancing. The Tar Heels still dancing in this tournament on the way to Phoenix in the Final Four.